GDT 695 seems no lights but controller PCB has green status on. How long have you had your GDT 695 SUMS? Three years. What have you tried so far? I have a two year old GE dishwasher GDT 695 SUMS. It has been making random beeps for a few months. Finally, it went dead last month. I pulled it out of the counter and exposed the control board to see the LED status. When I plugged it in, it worked. So I reassembled that and put it back and it has worked for a month. Yesterday the control panel is dead. Expose the control module and the LED at solid green. So could it the control module or an issue with the switch bank in the door? Anything else you want the electronics expert to know before I connect you? No. Hello, this is Mark. I'll be assisting you today. During this lockdown I am not able to take a call, as I am working from home. If you would like a phone call, let me know and I can pass you on to another expert that might be available for a phone call. I do not send phone call requests, the site generates those automatically, so please ignore those requests. If you want a phone call, let me know but please do not try to call me or accept the phone call requests. You will see them pop up. If you do not want a phone call, ignore them. Okay. If the light on the control module is green, that means the model is not sensing any issues with the washer parts. Typically that means that the CSM module had tripped. That is often caused by a leak by the heat element nuts. Gain access to the heat element where the wires connect to it, and then check to see if there's evidence of a water leak there. GE dishwashers are known for this issue. All my control lights and switches are dead, same issue. If you see evidence of water leaking anywhere from the bottom, then you will want to resolve that leak and reset the CSM module. I can help with that. First, check for leaks yes. Same issue. I assume I need to pull the dishwasher to check this. I got to the control module just from the front. The CMS is the PCB assembly at the bottom. How you reset? Yes, you will want to check the entire bottom to see if it has been leaking, however, the most common location of a leak is where the wires connect to the element. If you see that, you will want to replace the element and then reset the CSM module. The CSM module is just the software the computer runs on, and it is in the board, yes. Resetting the CSM module is basically putting the dishwasher into error mode, then from that mode you put it into test mode. Then after you exit error mode, the CSM is typically reset. If that doesn't reset it, then the computer module is faulty, even though you see a green light on it. I can't do any of this if the push buttons are dead. Yes you can. If it's just the CSM that has tripped, you can still get into the mode. Shall I try a reset first? You can try that. But you will want to check for leaks, as it can affect the reset. Press and hold the cycle select and start buttons for 5 seconds. You should see the LEDs flash. If the touchpad is still okay, this will work. If you cannot get this to work, you might have to try a couple times. Then the touchpad is faulty and needs to be replaced. Nothing happening, 
All dead. One of three things then. Either there is a lot of water down below that is leaking and it's wet currently. Preventing the CSM from resetting. Or the module is not sending voltage to the panel. Or the panel is faulty. If you can check for water leaks and find none, then you can rule that out. Then, since the green light is on, on the module, that usually means it is sending voltage. So then your best bet would be to assume the user interface panel is faulty and then would need to replace it. It's also possible that there is a loose wire where the wires connect to the user interface. All the wiring is up front put the heater element exits at the rear, water will actually get to the front. I see no water in the catch pan. Was the random beeping the washer would make when not in use indicate anything? That depends. The beeping usually coincides with an error. That is usually displayed as a blinking light on the panel. How many beeps at a time would it beep? It was more like a chord of notes, like the finished notes. I never saw blinking lights but I may have not noticed. Okay. Not familiar with that tone. Not that it isn't an error. Just that I have not run into that noise before. Typically you just look for blinking lights. And number of them. I kind of does a double beep when the wash is done, the random sound could be the same. Yeah, the manual only shows the blinking lights as errors and mention nothing about the beeps. I can send along a manual for you if you would like to refer to it and it shows all the troubleshooting procedures. What is your email address? I can email it to you. It sounds like it keeps telling us the wash is done. But it never used to do that. Will take me a few minutes to get it emailed, stand by. This service is for one dollar. What service? The question? I don't control charges nor can I look up your information. Here is the service bulletin that is about this dead condition you have. Emailing the manual. You should see the manual in your email. I didn't see a service bulletin. Got the mono though, thank you. If you are on a smartphone, it doesn't usually show. I'll email it to you. Stand by. Emailed it to you. In reference to the $1 cost of service. From what I understand it's a $5 charge to be a member. And after that I'm not sure of exact costs, they don't give us exact prices that they charge for the service, but after the month membership you should cancel it if you do not want to be charged the monthly fee of I think it's $30 they don't allow us access to any of your contact information or card information as we are all independent contractors that are only paid by the site for a positive rated question. Sorry I don't have more information for you about that. But you have to contact them for exact charges. They handle that, not us. That service bulletin references the CSM module 2, which is the computer software in the module. Did you get the other email? So typically since you did not get a reaction when you press those buttons, this is going to be a faulty touchpad, I can find the part link for you. Only saw one bulletin. Yes, one manual I emailed you. Then one service bulletin in the second email. Okay, I got two docs. Exactly. 
Second one is the service bulletin about this condition. Okay, thanks. I am not a service tech, just a homeowner who happens to be an engineer. Hoping this would be a simple PCB swap, but I'll look it over. Thanks and we'll leave a positive review. Here is the link to the user control part you want to replace. HTTPS colon slash www.easyappliancepartscom slash part info dot asks. Inventory equals 12342776 and source code equals 1 and search term equals GDT695SMJ2S and model num equals GDT695SMJ2S and model ID equals 7267401. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask. I'd be more than happy to answer any other questions or clarify anything for you. Doesn't affect what you pay at all just whether or not the site pays me for my time. You can give your rating by selecting one of the five stars located on the top right of the question page. Be safe and well. Okay, thanks. You are welcome, happy to help out how to rate, https colon slash www.justanswer.com slash help slash how do I rate answer. If on a smartphone. Easiest way to rate is to get on a computer and follow an email you would have received telling you the expert is ready to be rated and follow the link. Cheers. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.